Running a slideshow. To view a finished presentation, one has to use slideshow option. In slideshow, the contents of the presentation are shown in full screen. You can start slideshow in any of the following. Method 1. Click the slideshow button at the bottom of the window. Method 2. By clicking on from beginning in the start slideshow group. Method 3. Running current slide. Clicking on from current slide from start slideshow group. Method 4. Press F5 on your keyboard. The steps to set up a slideshow are given here. Select the slideshow tab. Click on setup slideshow option. The setup show dialog box will appear. Select the range from the following two options. Includes all the slides in the slideshow. Includes only the range of slides one enters in the from and to boxes in the slideshow. Type the beginning and ending slide numbers in the from and to boxes. Click the way you want to move from one slide to the next. That is either manually or automatically during a slideshow. Click OK to apply the settings to the slideshow. Transition and slide timings. Slide transition. To add transition to a slideshow, follow the given steps. In slide view or slide sort of view, select the slide or slides you want to add a transition to. On the transitions tab, in the transition to the slide group, click the slide transition effect that you want for that slide. Repeat the process for each slide you want to add a transition to. To preview the transitions effect on the transition tab, click preview. To apply the transition to all the slides, click apply to all. Slide timings. To set a time manually, follow the given steps. In normal view or slide sort of view, select the slide or slides one wants to set the timing for. On the transition tab, in the timing group, on advanced slide option to apply the timing to the selected slide. To specify the time before the slide advances, select the after checkbox and then enter the number of seconds of delay needed in the associated text box. To apply the timing to all the slides, click apply to all. Repeat the process for each slide you want to set the timing for. Automating a slideshow. Set timings automatically for a slideshow. If you don't want to manually move through a slideshow, there are two ways you can set the length of time a slide appears on the screen. One way is to set the time manually for each slide and then run the slideshow and view the timings you set. The other way is to use the rehearsal feature where you can record timings automatically as you rehearse. On the slideshow tab, in the setup group, click Rehearse Timings. The rehearsal toolbar appears, begins to timing the presentation. The rehearsal toolbar. Next, advance to next slide. Pass. Slide time. Repeat. Total time for presentation. While you time your presentation, do one or more of the following on the rehearsal toolbar. To move to the next slide. Click Next. To temporarily stop recording the time, click Pass. To restart recording the time after passing, click Pass. To restart recording the time for the current slide, click Repeat. After you set the time for the last slide, a message box displays the total time for the presentation and prompts you to do one of the following. To keep the recorded slide timings, click Yes. To discard the recorded slide timings, click No. Slide sort of view appears and displays the time of each slide in your presentation.